All right, confession time. How many of you guys been in a relationship, got their heart stolen, and immediately realized like, uh-uh, not doing this again, never, not happening. Okay, bye. And they all jack it. <laughs> Hey there hot people, this is Muskan Celeste and I'm back with this new video which ain't linked to any previous video yet but soon you will find it helpful even if not, at least you will have some good bone cracking laughter so falling in love is like blacking out after throwing back 15 tequila shots back to back We all have cringed that some disgusting, inappropriate, downright embarrassing shit that we once thought when we were at the top of the world. <laughs> we all have cried in the middle of night, called someone for the 15 times to wake up next morning and realize we have said all those things that could have gotten your ears bleed if you were sober and vowed to never do it again probably, which I never did. And this isn't about me anyways. So, on the top of that, I have brought you 10 cringiest act ever we new couples do. And I am counting it from 10 to 1 cringiest act we find most common in couples. And for my audience, I have got something special by the end of this video. So stay tuned with me. Number 10, a photo of you kissing and snuggling. This definitely exists on the social media. They say loves to make you do crazy things. It's just hard to realize what those crazy things are when you're on the heat of the moment. Writing someone a love letter, quoting a cold play might seem natural thing to do, but those horrifying pictures of you with a boyfriend trying to be romantic in front of a rainforest cafe six months later after you guys broke up and no longer speaking to each other just says how corny you were. Number nine, emotionally wasted drunk. When you get drunk, you get really emotional about how lucky you are that you found each other. When you wake up, proved and lightheaded, you can't help but ask yourself, was it really love or just another night gone wild? It's nothing but a drunken affection or probably your attention code. Anyways, so we tend to lose our innovations to let another side of ourselves take hold on it, a side that our single self would refuse to engage with. Number eight, you feed each other food in public. Those Facebook status with the quote, the notebook, the matching onices, the tattoo with her name that you changed to win of whatever, and now you're baby feeding each other. They are all signs of how crazed person you were once. The delusion, obsessive, completely blacked out time of your life that you remember like a bad party now. Number seven, you answer the questions with we. We love this, we think that, we have this, we want that, and I want to jump in well. Cause we have jumped the gun. Either it's naming your hypothetical children, taking a honeymoon spot, writing a letter to someone you would start having in the next six weeks, whether it's some shit you thought aloud in your head when you were 16 and thought it's love, we all have cringed at some crazy love shit we did. At least, not me. <laughs> Number six, you openly group each other in public. Oh, it's definitely cringe regardless of who is looking. Like all those wild nights you wish you could permanently forget, but there's a plethora of evidence out there to remind you how once you were out of your goddamn mind, you were high on this drug called love, and now you want to erase all this evidence from every single cell. Whoever witnessed it, it's just it's terrible. Number five, being hopeless romantic in public. One of you has definitely written another a poem, or you really have already songs in public, and you go all misty eyed when the song comes on when you're out with your girl, and become those drunk assholes in the street scene jury. We are obnoxious, inconsiderate, and completely belligerent. And plus, it's also a sign of hopeless romanticism. Number four, mushroom request. 
You guys reply with the quality bushy comments back to back, making everyone else who wants a date. You know those couples who sit on the same side of a table at a restaurant, making everyone else uncomfortable, and you really want to go and tell them to get to room? Yeah, you two guys are the Lambo version of that. Number three, Moshi social post. You post Moshi's status about her on your social media profiles, something like, uh, Baby, I love you so much. I want to cut you into pieces so I can have pieces that fits in a variety of purses and pockets. Also, so that no one ever think about looking at you. Ha ha ha. Well, the will look at you, but ha ha ha. I will touch their teeth with a grower. Grower. I do my own. Bye. Where I could find this guy? Where these people live in? Obama or Florida? Also, I need to work more on writing. <laughs> Number two, cookie wise fever. You speak to each other in cookie wise and give a scheme of pieces in the company of other people, saying it's just the thing we do for devil's sake. But the goddamn me, you dislike to become a sapien. Number one, giving cringy pet names. Giving cringy pet names is a cringe itself. You should give your partner a meaningful name that does not sound cringe and definitely holds a meaning to remind them of you. You have given each other pet names like Booby and Poopy. Oh, no. Like, I I'm fucking done, seriously. Poopy? No, I I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm done. Like, seriously. Poopy? <laughs> and you have absolutely no shame about using it in front of other people is the cringiest thing I could mention. But seriously, if 10 or more of this above mentioned applies to you, congrats, you are being loved. But for the love of the devil's sake, enough. Seriously. And now time for the special announcement for my audience who have supported me so far by watching this video on the occasion of New Year, Valentine and Winter, I have brought you winter discount coupon discounted up to 50% on bold care 15% on jack and jones and uh, last but not least a discount world rupees thousand on giva winter magic collection jewelry all the coupons and product details are mentioned on my official website you will find all the mentioned links in the description below what you're waiting for go click check before the offer and sort of time that's all for today guys I will be back soon with more informative and entertaining content. But till then, see you on the other side.